Howdy, Possum Patty here. It is a very dark and very, very rainy Sunday. I've got all the lights on because it's so dark in here. And as you can see, I've put a pile of scraps on the table and I thought I would do a little slow down Sunday scrap busting. So I'm gonna sit here and do some slow stitching and you're welcome to join me. Come on along. In my sew to go bag, I have my slow stitch journal, which I call my just because book. And I have been doing a little work in here. And I got this idea from someone else. I have a needle loose here. <laughs> I have a needle on the loose. Let me, is it attached to something? Yes, I'm in the middle of sewing something. So let me just stick that in there. Okay, I was showing you how I updated my ladybug. So I'll probably do some more work on her today. And this page, this material had these peacock feathers on it. And I was just you know, adding some stitches to the lines that were already on the material. And this was a prompt somebody was doing. They were making a little birdhouse just out of little scraps. And I put appliques on there and I put a little bird on there and a little button at the top of the birdhouse. I might add more to that or not. So on this page, I had a lot of fun with this page. I used my ink tense pencils by Derwent to do the circles and they work very well on fabric because you can color on the fabric and then wet it. And then I sewed around each of the circle with some very shiny thread. Now I got some shiny th thread at the flea market so I don't know what brand it is. But it's a very pretty and I just I just sat here one day and sewed in circles. But this is my favorite page over here. And it's got stitches running up and stitches going across. And these are real twigs that I painted with Sparkle Mod Podge. And then I sewed them in. And then I sewed these little rocks in. So these are like sticks and stones on here with a lot of stitching in the background. And this is a really pretty page I did for the orphans in Ukraine because their flag is blue and yellow. And I had this pin. This pin was gifted to me. I put a little heart up there. And then I stitched some sunflowers all across the bottom. And of course I did it all blue and yellow. I think I did this page last spring. The strawberry with all the beads. And then I tried sewing in this fluffy, fluffy yarn. <laughs> that was quite the experience. And then I put a, a little bead here to dangle off the page. So I have fun working in here. That's just a few of the pages. Well, my little group of fey folk over there, and that would be Angela Rose and little Miss Pixie in her decorated chair. And now we have little Lulu, the ladybug girl, all sitting over there in the fairy corner. And they've decided that they would love to join me in doing some slow stitch journals. So I said, well, I have plenty of scraps, <laughs> plenty, plenty of material. And I already started this one because I was trying to figure out how to make one. So the largest one will be for Angela Rose. And then I'll make one for Pixie and I'll make one for Lulu. And I do have a few scraps of like sari silk that were gifted to me quite a while ago. And of course, just, just tons of other scraps of material over here. And I am in the process right now of sewing several layers together. And what I did was I took a piece of this really pretty material and then a little piece of batting and then put a piece of material on top of that. 
And then I put some of this gold netting, which I got at the flea market also, very sparkly. Oh, and I put a tie. So what I am looking for now is something to tie these other ones close. And I have some pieces already cut into like strips. And like this could be a tie. So I put the tie. Now the size doesn't matter if you're making a mini just because book. So if you want a square book, then you do you double. So if it's two, if it's one that way, you go two that way. If it's too tall, you go four wide, and that'll give you a squarish. Or if you're off a little bit, you get something that's a little bit more like a rectangle. Doesn't matter. I cut these little pieces of batting a little bit smaller than the front cover, and I just have a scrap bag of batting over here that I'm pulling little pieces from. Here's a piece of black. I think little Miss Lulu would like the black. I'm digging through my pile over here. Here's some pink. Oh, this one's lovely. Could use that one's already cut into a strip. I'm trying to use some of the pieces that are already in strips. This one's pretty, but it's kind of wide. That could almost be a page in the journal. So a just because book, you make it just because you got a bunch of scraps and you want to use them up. And you're doing it just because you want to. Here's a pretty pink one and a green one. go with the pink for one of them. And put it the wrong side up. And for this one, I want to use the batik. Now fairies do love anything that sparkles and that's why I have this layer of gold mesh on there. There's enough sparkle on the outside I think. But I'm going to be sewing some things to the outside also. And this is just slow stitching. This isn't, if you can make a straight running stitch you can slow stitch. There's absolutely nothing fancy about it. It is just going back and forth up through the material. <laughs> oh, here's some of this. That would be pretty and it's just the right size. Look at that. Now if you don't have any cotton batting, you could use a piece of felt or just put an extra layer of material in there. Should we put some gold on there too? Gold lame. It's not really lame, but it's gold mesh. Okay, I use a glue stick to hold everything in place before I sew. So this craft bond extra string works really nicely with the material. And I take the tie and I put a little dot right in the middle so I can eyeball sort of the middle of the fabric like that. And then I just stick down the cotton batting and then this is just to tack it down until I have this one on here. <laughs> I don't even remember now. It doesn't matter. And then on top of that, put some of this gold. Now, depending on your sensibilities, 
you can have like little pieces sticking up or if that bothers you you can trim it off so I've gone ahead and started the next one I'm usually not good at mass production like this making three of something is mass production for me this is really pretty I think I made a um, journal cover out of this and these are just left over oh this might be Walmart fabric okay I'm gonna cut a piece of gold for this one and then I'll start some sewing. Of course, I glued that down. Now I want to measure it. I finished these two tiny ones. Aren't they just adorable? This one belongs to Pixie and she has a fawn applique on hers and a little bit of this sparkly mermaid fabric. She has pink buttons, a pink flower on that side because the deer has some pink and her tie is pink. And then there are five pieces of material. Each piece gives four pages. So there's 20 pages. And I just did a regular sewing stitch down the middle to bind the signature into the cover. And I did include some magic mermaid fabric that was in the pile of scraps. Not sparkly gold on the inside there and pink and gold on the outside with the little fawn and our little pink ties. So this one belongs to Pixie and she can do her slow stitching in here. And this one belongs to little Lulu Ladybug Ragdoll. And she has a squirrel with an oak nut there, some more of that sparkly fabric, and she has a purple button, flower button, purple button on the back. Her tie is purple and green batik. Well, kind of purple pink. There's like a lavender and a green and a pink on there. And she's got slightly different fabric mostly teals and pinks and purples a little bit of green there I know these bows are big, but I could have used some smaller ribbon, but that's okay. So if you don't have any fairies or pixies or little Lulu, <laughs> little Lulu ladybug ragdoll girls, um, yeah, these are, are just cute to have. You can make one and very portable. <laughs> Take it with you, do some slow stitching, right? They're just cute. It's like mini journals. We love our little mini journals and these are mini just because slow stitch journals. So I saved the big one for last. And this one has the teal, teal green buttons. And there are also, I believe, five, 
One, two, three, four or five pieces of fabric. Some are bigger than others. As I was trying not to cut any new pieces, but use what was in that pile there. And I didn't measure on any of these. I just kind of eyeballed where the middle was. Which I may get into trouble, but... And then on this, you can measure it, you can mark it. You can just go for it and hope it's sort of somewhat in the middle, which is what I'm doing. Right there. And I'm just going to sew just regular stitching. I put thread on a needle. Here it is. Or by the needle minder. <laughs> and if the material, the fabric shifts while you're sewing, no big deal. You can put some pins in it if you want to. You can do it any way you want to. I'm just going to anchor my thread here for a moment to the inside of the cover. Now finding the middle might mean a little bit more for this one because it's bigger. I know I just took a back stitch there, but you know. I wanted to catch that other piece of fabric. Now I sewed them from the inside paying attention to my stitches and not on the outside because I covered them on the outside. So I wasn't worried about that. So the rain almost stopped. <laughs> The sun almost came out for a few moments. And I went outside, checked the garden and everything, walk in the puddles. It was still raining a little bit. The moss and the lichen are very, very happy. All this rain. I found one little tiny, tiny mushroom. And a couple of slugs that were just coming out of their house to check things out. Did you know slugs do have a house? Yes, they go back to their house at night. And then they come out again. So there was two slugs and their house must be in the old stump because that's where they were coming out of. I did notice the deer were eating my sunflowers. But they haven't eaten the tops yet. They've only eaten a few of the leaves. So maybe they will bloom. I hope. So that's how easy it is to make covers and sew in the signature. Okay, now I decorated these with these little appliques. They were so cute, they were so adorable. I believe, were these gifted to me? <laughs> I know, I'm terrible at remembering everything. So in this pile of sorry silk that I know was gifted to me, I found this. And I was like, oh my, this is gorgeous. 
So I've got a piece of silk attached here. And I might have to cut this just a little bit. And I think I'm going to, I know that's pretty and it's going to make a pretty border <laughs> for this piece. I mean, this could have been a cover in itself, right? Wouldn't that be gorgeous? But that's okay. I just found this and I was like, ooh, I got teal ties and teal buttons on here. And this would be so pretty. The pink and teal and silver. All right, so all I have to do now is sew that on. I do have some silver thread here. I'm going to try it. And this is very heavy. So I think maybe I'll just do a single strand. I use the silver to sew on the appliques. And it seems like over much. <laughs> because this is very thick. Oh, and those appliques were sticky. And I thought it was just like a tacky kind of sticky to hold it down while you sewed it. But apparently it's like sticky sticky. <laughs> like let's put this on here permanently sticky. But I still put a couple stitches in them. Squirrel was much stickier than the deer. All right, this has a couple of strands in it, so I'm gonna need my threader to get them all through at the same time. It looks like three strands. Kind of center this a little bit. And I am going to just, oh, I'm going to anchor it. Oh yeah, sewing with one is much better. <laughs> I was trying to sew with a double strand, man. That was tough. Tough, tough, tough. I'm just going to sort of whip stitch it around the edge. Now I could always add more to the inside of the cover. Okay, so I was outside for a little bit and I did some of my sewing on the porch. The little Miss TT wanted to go outside, but she was being pretty pesty. And when I'm trying to sew, She keeps pushing my hand. <laughs> I stuck myself with the needle because she was pushing on my hand. I tried to get her to sit on the cushions, but she wasn't having it. So then by late afternoon, early evening, it got dark again, and it started raining again. I think we got like four inches of rain from the last system that came through, low pressure system. And so far we've gotten three inches from this one. So the rain bucket is pretty full. 
Mr. Possum said, don't complain about the rain. But places are getting flooded. That's not good. Some of the uh, farmers in Connecticut have lost their crops because their fields are flooded. Or they can't get out to their fields because the, the way to get out to the field is flooded. We're under a, the whole entire state, Connecticut's a tiny state, it's under a flood watch and a tornado watch and a thunderstorm warning, and that's been all day. So a good day to stay inside. and make tiny journals just because. Now I'm almost done here and I will tie this off and then we can go present these to the fairy folk. And if you don't have any fairies in your life or gnomes or trolls, <laughs> you can just make these for yourself or as gifts. Well, I think Angela Rose is going to be very happy with this. Oh, what I did with the other ones was I gave it a little trim. They could be a little bit shorter, but if they're a little bit longer, then it's hard to tie with them hanging out. This is the front. The ones with the flowers are the front, and the plain buttons are the backs. Well, that was a fun project for today. And I want to thank you for coming along and keeping me company on this rainy day. Much appreciated. Now, wasn't this a fun project? Look at these. These are adorable. <laughs> Happy slow stitching. Bye-bye. Okay, ladies, I have a present for each of you. Angela Rose, here's your Just Because Slow Stitch book. Oh, I see you already have a basket for your... Daisy Castle Journal. Well, now you have one for your sewing, too. And Little Miss Pixie, here's a slow stitch journal for you. And Little Lulu Ladybug, here is a slow stitch journal for you. Now, on rainy days, you can all stay very busy inside. <laughs>